In this video, we are going to begin looking at vertical and horizontal lines. Quite simply, vertical lines, when graphed, will always go through the x-axis. For this reason, a vertical line is always x equals the intercept. Similarly, a horizontal line, when graphed, will go through the y-axis. For this reason, the horizontal line is always y equals the intercept. If we know that vertical and horizontal lines are always the variable equals its intercept, we can quickly match equations and lines together. In this problem, we are asked to graph y equals negative 2. This means the graph has a y-intercept at negative 2. On the y-axis, we graph a point at negative 2, and then draw the horizontal line that crosses through it on the graph. This is the line, y equals negative 2, because at every point on the graph, Whatever x is, y will always be negative 2. Similarly, if we were to look at this graph and try and find the equation, we would notice that it has an intercept here at 4. It is crossing the x-axis at 4, and so the equation is x equals 4. As you notice, that while the y values are different all across the line, the x value is always 4. If we can remember that vertical and horizontal lines are always the variable equals its intercept, we can quickly match a line to its equation.